And I think it's better if we, we do something instead of just moving from another week. And yeah. We can try to recap something a bit later. I don't know what you're saying, but I think it's better. Anyway, yeah, I read the book, good. like, uh, as you've seen, like, maybe in the, in the chat, like, I changed a bit, like, with what I have read and, like, John um, shared another link. If mm. you check in the, I read the, this is very long, so it, it will cost you, like, if you want to read that, at least, uh, it took me at least half an hour to understand everything. So, yeah. But I, the gist of it is, like, um, Mm. Uh, you can uh, there's this function that's called on exit into um, this is base R and then they wrap another function I do not remember the name of it around it so that's make it like basically when you do something in an environment as it be like a function or um, let's say like you can also define in R your own environment if you want I yeah. don't know if you have seen that already like, was that the expect snapshot one like you have by did you know the scope scoping rules yeah 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 that's it so basically like you have like uh, the global environment the function environment the package environment etc etc and you can you can like i do not like you have a function that's allow you to create environment for yourself i do not remember the name of it so yeah. on exits work only in the function environments and then the functions that develop it, like in with R, in the with R package, allow you like uh, to restore the environment as it was previously. Like if you are setting some uh, option, uh, let's say like for example the width of some characters or something like that, you can go back into uh, if your function do that. I I'm, I'm kind of like curious because I haven't tried. I don't know like if you create some temporary file, I do not think it would work. Anyway, so yes, it was like what you shared and no, well, I guess I can share my screen and um, the, the book part of it. And we can just go through it quickly. So it was yes, good. designing of the suite. Uh, I will share screen. I don't know if it will work. Maybe I should unplug the other one. Anyway, should everything maybe. I don't know. I can share just that. Okay. Um, was yeah, that's it. Do you have it? Yeah. Let's close that. Let's close that. Everything that's take memories. This is so. Okay. So uh on this part, uh, I do not think I have like uh, make uh, very, I mean, nothing particularly to say, like they advise you to test a lot. Uh, and basically like they give like various tip and I'm not sure like, you know, I'm still like, I'm very like maybe straight. I don't know. I, I like kind of like settings and tips like, okay, it can work and cannot work, but so one, one tip they give is like, basically, if you find a bug, you should write a test. So it makes sense, like when you are like, uh, I don't know, like you have like, uh, I don't know if you, you do sometimes some computing problems. I do, but at, at the easy level. And uh, then you want to pass the check and it doesn't work. So you work, you write some tests. So on this case, I, I, I understand it, but on the analysis, I guess I'm still failing seeing it. I guess like if you develop like some, particular function for like some task, maybe I will see it. So in this um, cover lib um, cover uh, package, um, they offer you like wrappers that uh, give you like a percentage of what function in your package are tested. Uh, and they said like, it's just, I do not know how far you should go from it because for example, do you test your helper function, you know, functions that are not, mean to use by other people yeah Let's say like you, you develop some function because you need it and it's it's in but you you don't you, it's not supposed to be helpful i mean it's available in your package and you use it in some function but should you yeah. develop tests on that they did mention to use um 
uh, to do things for like this external facing stuff that the user yeah. does. Because if you're doing the internal one and then things change, you've got to rewrite all the the tests, I think. Yeah. Um, is there... Yeah. I don't know how that works in practice, I guess. Me neither. So I, I also try like, you know, like go on GitHub and see like, for example, the Tidyverse package and that. The, the fact that you cannot, like, uh, I think this is like a uh, in the package, we have seen that, like, you can have like have an hierarchy of a sub hierarchy. Like, mm. you know, all the tests are by function. So you have like 25 or, or more. Uh, they all start with test and, uh, and with the name of the function. And so it doesn't help you to, I mean, when you go like on it, it doesn't help you like to, I don't know, to, to make it more, to, to to take more uh, easy when you open the package uh, i was a bit lost after you read it and then it makes sense but yeah i would like more structuring but i don't think it's possible anyway i like this id so the high level principle of testing the first one is a test should ideally be self-sufficient and self-contained so this idea is like you basically a test that call the function like you i mean the test you put inside of test that should be self-sufficient and then they will extend it. Like you should not have like, you know, some uh, top level code on top of it, like doing some stuff that it's called after in the test that mm -hmm. everything should be into the function. I think it also makes sense because it does not pollute your, I don't know if pollute is the correct word, but your global environment, everything yeah. is stored inside of the function of your environment. And then when the function closed, uh, at least uh, you do not, I mean, I do not know how far the garbage collector, uh, collector works in R, but at least it should be a bit cleaner. Mm. Uh, it's more uh, important that to test uh, code uh, and it's more important to be obvious. So the tests that you should do, like should have like the test that like do this and it should just do this. And however, the interactive workflow shouldn't leak into, uh, oh yeah. So I don't know like this part. So they, they said like yeah. you should uh, test, if I remember correctly, um, the focus should be automatic test. So the test you are calling uh, when you are doing load all, because that, I assume like load all do a call on test that into every, um, every function inside of this repository that have the test at the beginning. You can also like probably like test a directory or test a file or whatever. But uh, if you use load all, I assume like they, are, they needed like some pattern to call the function. And so they said like you should uh, work on, I mean, we will go into it, but as, if I remember correctly, they, they said like you should focus on first autom automatic stuff. Then uh, if you have to prioritize, then maybe like the, the Tests that you run by yourself sometimes. Self-sufficient tests. Uh, well, we have gone already into that. Same same idea. So yeah, this is a nice example. I like example because um, <laughs> uh, it's illustrate more. So here we like we are just creating a basic data frame. Uh, we have also calling something that we not, do not do on Monday. I don't know for whatever reasons. And then we are doing the test. So this is bad. Uh, and a good way should be like have this call and the data frame. Uh, and um, so we are not doing the test if we are, I assume, in Monday. Uh, and then uh, it's better for what? Because like if it's Monday, we do not create the data frame, which is, I mean, nicer in the memory. Like we are not mm -hmm. doing something that we do not need to do. Well, here, like you, you need it for everything. So whatever happened, you are doing it. So imagine it's here, it's not costly, but imagine in some loop, you will basically like uh, loading your memory with some things that you do not need to load. So I think this, this is a good example. And uh, yeah, you rewrite it and now everything in, is inside uh, your, um, your, your, your test, your Tufi does this. Now your Fufi uh, does that. Let's say like, uh, so uh, on Fufi, um, does that uh, it does uh, it test if it's on Windows, and if it's on Linux, and if it's it does not sorry it does not test if it's on Windows or uh, I assume Mac and Linux, and it does the test so it's called back that which already used 
and that two that we create letters. So another way of doing it is like inside of the function, here yeah, you are gonna say like you you are repeating yourself, you could say, but they said like in these cases, it may make sense to um to repeat yourself because uh also people who are like doing your package and testing it will maybe not check every function, but will go directly into a test and will not it will make stuff nicer for them. For the readers of your package, so I think it makes sense. I I agree. Like it's not too big uh, a repetition here. I don't know. Like if you create a bigger object into memory, if like the you know it's always a trading cost. Like if creating the object takes times and it's very better to do it once. I I don't know how far you should we should follow these rules, but so far like on the example, uh, I think it's good. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, this is like the stuff like we already discussed, which you should, and the same principle that you, we should have developed when we're developing function inside of test, we shouldn't modify uh, the environment of the users. Or if we do it, we should clean ourselves letters. So, uh, yeah, they, they give you like. Um, and uh, an example, uh, like every call library option consists of like after sexting effects. Like even the library, it wasn't obvious for me, but some library can, uh, you know, the uh, it's basically loading a package and so it's populating a nam namespace. And if, for example, you are loading like let's say tidyverse, you are like just um, like select, for example, is used by a ton of other package and it can mess it so. Uh, no, I get it. So, um, well, this is it basically. So you can use like this with R local and it will help you. We already discussed that. And I, uh, it's basically a wrapper on, on exits, but uh, with betters. So with R is supposed to be designed to help you doing that. Uh, and you should, uh, and they said like, uh, yeah. So this is what we discussed on the early. If you are modifying the environment, you should put the environment back. How do you know that? Uh, with R, are you doing that? But outside of that, uh, I don't know. I have not used it. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay, plan for test failures. Mm. Well, the, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think like um, we, I like it, the joke. <laughs> that uh, most of the quality time you spend with your tests will be when they are inexplicably failing. Uh, I think like the, the tech of it and the tech, the later tech, by the way, like they quote a lot of this software engineering uh, at Google mm -hmm. book. So I think it's a good read. I have no time to read it, but uh, <laughs> I can add it in my ink. Uh, but I think one of the, one of the points is like uh, we should treat it as a part of developing it and not necessarily of uh, some it's, uh, some failure. Like it's something normal that some you know like this is like this DevOps uh, mantra like ex ex stuff break except the break and uh, and improving is part of it. So I guess you, this is like you do not have that much help, but what's helping is like if you use uh, uh, let's say um, an interactive way of doing it, like always testing, be like um, uh, automate that. So I, I, I hope like you can, I can, and sometimes I even check that, but I hope like I can put that into a job, you know, in our studio or use it in another R session, in another kind of stuff. So you can work through your test and, um, and that's it. Uh, okay, repetition is okay. We already like uh, discuss about it. I think the idea, like it's fine if you uh, repeat you repeat yourself. Like the what they repeat is is the useful thing mm. uh, on both tests. Uh, you could have put it here, but then it break the rules uh, that every test should be like uh, self-contained. So the rule of test being self-contained is probably like and test being self-efficient. 
is the two rules that we should memorize. And if I have to summarize it, it's there should be self-sufficient, there should be self-contained. I'm kind of afraid a bit because like, um, uh, well, they bring it letters, like, uh, so we'll discuss that a bit later so with the ID, with the helper function. Also, like you can put the helper function close to the function you are creating. Anyway, so this is what they bring. Like you can test by everything or using the different tester file, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but they recommend you like to, to do like the whole sync every time. I think I will try quickly to be smart and and try like to snippet what I'm doing and fail because I don't do everything and I <laughs> fail to understand uh, every impl implication that I have to when I do something. But yeah, basically, yeah, they highly recommend you that you use the some package that because when also people are reading your code and want to see like for example like you are this is one of the packages they maintain. So just do a research on GitHub of what they may break. So they go see, try your test and see if the new change they are gonna provide with your package is breaking uh, and that help them. So this is basically like, oh, make, oh, you can make your life, their life easier, which I think is good. So they can help you. And because they are more competent than me, <laughs> this is a good point. So, um, this is the part like where I show you you, uh, you build like files that's relevant to testing. Uh, so this is this ID like uh, uh, this. So this come like from I think this came from uh, the table package or no GB player uh, package, which is I think it's a package that's used to wrap a database with. Uh, yeah. An API of Dplyr instead of just writing your know, SQL query like a grow up, you can yeah. use Dplyr and Dplyr converts um, your um, your 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 query of SQL into uh, I mean you write Dplyr it converts it to SQL and it provides you the results. So they needed to test like some table, basic tables and stuff like that. And uh, so they write it and they put it um, the, an helper for the function, and uh, just and they put it into to the R, um, into the R uh, directory. I didn't quite understand that, but uh, apparently you are allowed to do that. Uh, to have helper function that helps you like test and do something, but you do not want to expose the users. Apparently it works. Uh, this part is like you, if you, if you just like have tried create a random package and, um, and, uh, use test that it creates like this file, uh, at the, so basically you have test, then you have like a test that directory that put every test into it. And then you have a test that R so just basically contain that. And it's, it can be, I assume more complicated let's say if you want to load those package or stuff like that but then it break the rules of adding more stuff yeah especially because it's also like you, you it will not it, it's like you can even say like that's break the rule of testing <laughs> but uh, i assume like if you go like that and for the same reason like you can build into test that some helper function and you, they can say you to put them into the, the that, but uh, without the the name test in front of them. So the same idea, like if you want to have like helper function to do your test, or helper stuff, or loading some stuff. The idea is like for I, I assume like uh, doesn't help, but let's say like you have a function foo or a, a series of tests foo, you create an helper with a bunch of function or some may, I don't know if it's a function or object that you want to use, but only for tests. Let's say like you are doing. Um, I have checked it a bit, like for example, uh, Jenny Bryan, like have a package that's for uh, Google uh, API, like Google Sheet API and stuff like that in mm -hmm. Google Drive. So uh, if you check your package, she she used like somewhere like to 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 test it and she put it that way. At least this is how I understand it. 
that's it. That's the that's the file now. Um, so um, yeah. So I I I I, I skip it a bit that part with tear down. Uh, uh, and uh, the wizard differ, wizard the cloud, uh, tear down environment. It seems to be like uh, mostly for people who have managed package uh, for a long time. So it could happen in some package, but because they do not recommend it, uh, I skip that part. And it's ignored by the, okay. So this is it, so. Mm. Test that, test helper, set up and test. So that's why like the, uh, the, the recommend that you, use. but I do not know in which order they are run. So I will have to yeah. try myself. And with, I don't know if you know, but with like helper set up and test as a suffix, does it have to be helper hyphen or could it be helper underscore or camel case or something like that? Or I don't know. We should, yeah. Uh, yeah. we call the like, let's see, um, let's see what we can do. Test. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm afraid that like, if I just do like, let's see. Does that probably call it a bunch of other function? Even if we <laughs> check the function, uh, what it does, uh, it take a description and code. If characters is less than one, this must be a string. Okay. See, like, for example, get reporters, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> it also does local interactive reporters. It also like, look, local test context, I assume is like something like to manage environments. Code substitute code. It doesn't have any stuff. So yeah. Calling the function doesn't help, like we should, uh, mm. and I don't know if it load does a function. If nil, so yeah, no, no, no quick answer on that. Like we should no, check, um, okay. we yeah. should check like uh, more deeply, like the package. What does it do? Uh, I will respect, uh, I think like the idea of the if and, oh no, it's an underscore, I think, no? Underscore. Yeah, but up above they were using hyphens. Oh my gosh. I had that. Uh, yeah. So I always I, use camel case because I never know if a hyphen, some things will have, a, you know, fine yeah. with hyphen, some things are fine with underscores. I agree with your rules, always use uh, underscores, but uh, they make the compiling argument. I don't remember when that uh, you should use, I mean, in the function name, you should be strict, but it's when you are choosing variable name. In variable mm. name, you should use underscore if it's connect some stuff that have the same logic and I find if you want to distinguish it. Like for example, let's say, uh, mm, I do not have good example, but uh, I, I think it was like, yeah. The, so basically like, yeah, I do not, I think it would be better to have underscores. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. And let's see if they are consistent. No, they are consistent. They use it all the time. So I guess if they are consistent, there are some meanings. But here, they use for the function uh, underscores. And mm. So no idea. I, the, the only logic once I have figured out is like underscore is when this is the same ID. And if any, you want to break some IDs. Uh, this is, for example, the case when you're like, you know, like the date format. Yeah. Date format is an, uh, is the my iPhone because it's months is not the same as years, whatever. This is all yeah. justified in my brain, but I don't know if it's correct. Yeah. Like when you use Lubridate and stuff. Yeah. I mean, or just like, you know, people when they are encoding data, then you're wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
uh, and that's it. Uh, well, this, the, the last part is like, uh, uh, you know, you can use lo local theme file with, with R, which is kind of the theme file, you know, the base uh, R function that's called theme file. Uh, that's just uh, go, uh, I don't know, because I'm just a Linux user, but uh, how does it work on Windows? But town file is just going slash temp and put stuff on it, and then you do not care too much to be cleaned. Yeah, I think it's but something yeah. similar in Windows. The same idea, I assume. Like, yeah. this is some <laughs> stuff that yeah. you, 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 you buy to see if it works. But yeah. Uh, that's it. So this was like, I, I think like if I want to summarize it, so at least what I have get from reading this, um, this, uh, this chapters is basically like the high level principle. Uh, so sufficient, uh, self-sufficient test, you should be able like to run them like without even knowing the package. I mean, or knowing very less of the package and you should get the result. And that's it. And, um, and they should then call other stuff and self containing test the same ID and it's go. Um, and it's in case of test, uh, it, you sh it, do not be afraid to repeat yourself. So that self contained test is better than uh, be dr being dry. And that's that's what I uh, I got from it mostly. And. Um, for the rest, I'm still a bit lost, but uh, that's why I try to see what's done into like all the package and stuff like that. But yeah, oh, good job. Thank you for. Can I improvise? For, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, all good. Yeah. Uh, we can, we can, we can, we can bother. And RFM is still like on the night shift here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, awesome job there coming to all, all of these other little I mean, it's uh not I'm terrible at getting up at times when it's <laughs> still asleep. Yeah. No, and well next week it's me on advanced technique te advanced testing techniques. I don't oh, know no. what I would be able to do uh, about that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still a beginner in, in testing yeah. uh, stuff. But oh yeah, this is pictures. I've seen that in the repository and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I need. I think I need. I need practice on that, and I do not know how good. Uh, and I. But yeah, I'm curious of what the. Um, if we have a bit of time, we can check check also like, Air open science. Book package let's see what they said about it so, no it was the one before oops because it's good to have like a, another perspective on it mm. and then if i'm just them like sometimes you know it clicks because someone said it one way and then another people said it another way then it makes sense so Let's say continuous integration. It should be something like that. Into that normally. Okay, not too much. It just talks a little bit about the cover package. Yeah, yeah, and you should basically aut automate that. But let's see. Do I have like more? Um, more stuff about it. No. No. I mean, let's see the packaging guide, maybe. Maybe just uh, just test coverage. Testing. Well, let's see here if we have more, but I don't know, secret is another package. Yeah, I think that'll be for like keeping your tokens and stuff. Oh yeah, when you when you have like API and stuff like and, that. Yeah. And you don't want the key to be revealed. Is that what the vaccinate thing does in um, 
Oh, what's that package? Use this package. So I think it checks that none of that's getting leaked. I, I always use SHA in like the like get um yeah the same command line and but then I changed it for the book club thing to that the use this thing and it's like broken <laughs> everything and I just oh, made a mess. So. <laughs> I, I'm I'm still using S, uh, SHS for uh, SSH for GitHub. I do not use the GitHub action. Well, GitHub token. Yeah, whatever. yeah. I'm going to go back. It's just a headache now because I don't I don't know what it's done and. Like everything yeah, I, mean, I tried that, seems that's, to be in different be, places. And, yeah. I, I totally feel you. So just, I just use the command line, it worked fine. I mm. didn't go with this R Studio, so just go into a terminal. And yeah. It does the same. I mean, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so this book doesn't provide you too much either into testing. So I don't know what I will do. Maybe the DevOps one. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Um, I'd be surprised if they didn't go into the. There's, yeah, DO for DS. Uh. No, this is the book club. <laughs> Let's see DevOps if the book club wants to test it. Uh, <laughs> uh, DevOps lesson, logging inventory, Docker. I do not see tests. All right. They have like okay. test environment, but that's a little different as well, I think. No. Let's see the book, maybe. Uh, they look here. Maybe they didn't do it. Uh, Docker, maybe inside of Docker? I don't know. Is just using Docker's Docker run or the story of Docker, whatever. Docker file, your stuff. This is not testing anything. Mm. Just yeah. run the, the book. Well, let's test. You need the Linux. <laughs> So no, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe the software, Google uh, software developer, Google is good for us. So we just have to yeah. practice and, 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 and do it. Yeah, I think that's the way. I just, I often find it like, it's hard enough to write what I'm trying to write and then to write a test for it is like <laughs> even more to think about. Yeah, I'm feeling the same. Like yeah, a lot of time I'm trying to organize my, but it's probably because like, uh, uh it depends i not this yes i should maybe plan more <laughs> yeah no i agree i tend to just start writing and <laughs> try and fix things afterwards <laughs> and and then after like yeah uh, but yeah like yeah just thinking a bit more like uh what it's what it's being done and and divide it but i think like the first usually like uh, i mean I have, I have seen a Twitter uh, exchange today or yesterday about tests and stuff like that. And uh, there was an academic that said like, well, if what you bother is getting stuff done quicker, test is an iron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there is definitely like, a thing between academics and this is more for like, um, like developers and maybe a company and stuff when there's things like tests. but. It's good to do as an academic because you know you can kind of spot things and make it easier for people to use your package. Yeah, also like it's it, you can. I mean, we do errors also, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are making some errors also. So uh, yeah. I don't know, Richard McElrath, I the guy like uh, is a strong advocate into developing test testing uh, for science. So I should maybe like try to see if there's yeah, some videos mm. so I can I can see like maybe uh, and is a air bar, uh, buzz air guy uh, so he's not doing too much test that or whatever so I, we, it will be maybe help me uh, to um, understand what's how I deal with it and uh, then he can help me I will check that yeah but yeah I think we can stop here
put a cool. away for me to bed. <laughs> no problem. And I will I will try to work a bit like for next time. Sorry for being late. No, and all good. And yeah, so I only pinged you because I thought it was you presenting today, and then I, I hadn't checked the um. The no, present. no, no, no. I, I was on route for some show that I wasn't me because I was reading the show today, and I was like, yeah, up. same. And, yeah. and uh, if I was presenting, I would have uh, pictured it already, I think. Yeah. But, uh, I'll be in. Um, they, they touched like the the see for your question about uh, is test mandatory in two. Um, oh yeah, there you go. And also, you know, let's go into uh, well, documentation. And I have just the basic one, please, not the crappy stuff from here. You can just check that we are like in uh, manual. So sometimes, you know, the stupid manual is what we need. Yep. <laughs> I will go. Does it contain package? Writing your function? Nope. It's probably the next one. I do not think like they have like a package stuff. Let's see, maybe it needs to it. Yep. So does it's our internal internal structure of an installed package? Well, no. Uh, well, at least I do not know where it is inside of the air manual. Maybe I miss it somewhere. Yeah, there it's an arm. Um... So we should because like okay, it's it's not very sexy to read it, but I agree. Like it contains everything. Yeah. Checking this a package creating package. That's it. All right, in error, tidying and profiling air code, debugging. Let's see. Trans. Okay, I see run. Does data in package test. I will try everything. If the package source contain a test directory, then the test specify in the directory are run. Typically, they will consist of a set of R source file and target output file, R out R cell. Oh yes. So you are basically like you need to write the what's supposed what's it supposed to be produced and it checks against it. Mm. So that must be, yeah, that's a R C M D thing. Yeah. That's what it does, like uh, what the, what those stuff that automize it. Okay, you can specify the test directory if you are like funny and want to call your test directory foo. <laughs> and if the tests are slow, they should be installed for whatever reason. Okay. So I do not think like you need to write tests because yeah. if the package source contain a test. That could be wrong. Yeah. No, it's, I, that's what I, I think as well. I'm just having a look at the um. So that's it. Yeah, this is like the list of one, two, three. Yeah, that should that should. Pay someone to rewrite that. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It says, yeah. Um, and the subdirectories are data demo exec ins, blah, 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 tests, tools, and vignettes, some of which can be missing, but which should not be empty. So I think if you, I think you don't have to have tests. Um, it just needs to have description namespace and then it could have some of those subdirectories um, but if you have a subdirectory it does have to have something in it can't be empty in the, where i can see i guess it tests i mean one of the automatic tests is probably take oh is it empty or not yeah 
I get a lot of results for tests, so I'm not. Yeah. So um, yeah, the code probably contained good stuff, but I did, um, so it was into the, um, but it this does not help you how to write tests. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of tests too. So stuff, let me see. Maybe in the, I will just check and then end the call. Let's see, introduction error. Let's see if I write function do uh, because like uh, this is the object this is the object this is reading this is writing your own function does it contain tests nope i guess no see <laughs> <laughs> we got an underscore argument <laughs> maybe uh, that's into it. Signing, assignment, customizing environment. You can do a lot of stuff. That's generic for this is more complicated stuff. Okay. So I think we're good for tests uh, and we're good for tonight. Yep. And see you next week. Uh, I uh, will be ready like to uh...